Good morning guys, nice and early. Want to get out of here for a while? Let's go on a sunset safari up to North Stratty. Come and join us, let's go. Woo. Pete Surferu here again with another fabulous day here on North Nelson Straightback Island. And of course, top of voice there, getting up that hill. And of course, we've got our special guest here again, Mr. Greg from Sunset Safaris. How are you, buddy? Fantastic, Pete. Ooh. How about yourself? And what about this weather? Mate, you can't beat it. It's so hot, mate. I'm getting burnt here already. Got the cream on, but still burning. Yeah, absolutely. But why not go for a dip in this surf? I mean, we've got perfect surf on this beach and beautiful swimming. And this is Main Beach on North Stradbroke Island. Very, very beautiful. Mm. 32 kilometres of in uninterrupted beach. And you, you're flat out coming across a sole as you're driving down along this beach in our big falls like buses. That's it's what a lot I like. Of fun. That's what I like. That's what I like. Nice and freedom, stressful. No stress out here at all, mate, it's great. Exactly, and the best way, of course, is in the big four-wheel drive buses. You get to see the beautiful views as you're going through. Very, very nice, and people just really enjoy the day out with us on uh, the Sunset Safari. Mate, it's going great. This is our second week out here already, buddy, and uh, we've got quite a while to go yet, guys and girls, so we've got lots of more locations, Greg. Yes, absolutely. We're heading off to Point Lookout very soon. Cool. It'll be great. Thanks, mate, for coming again. We won't oh, uh, be too far away. And Aquarius is here again. Thanks, Aquarius. Here you go, mate. Have a nice, thank refreshing you, drink. Cheers, Cheers, buddy. And guys, we've got another special guest today, and his name's Matt. Matt from Earwig. How are you, buddy? Well, you and he's from mate. the band, so everyone knows who he is. And um, we've got something to tell the people out there for the uh, big uh, competition there in the band section, the War of the Bands. We have. Tell me, what sort of categories are we looking at uh, for the bands to enter? Well, we've got um, rock and pop, we've got hard rock and metal, we've got hip hop, we've got alternative, so anything that's musical, yep. if you want to make a film clip up of your band, send it in and we'll go over it. Okay, now don't forget guys and girls, make sure you do a film clip of the band, the whole song, because we're going to feature the best ones weekly, so make sure you do that. And of course, uh, we're going to have a big championship at the end of the year, so uh, Matt, thanks for coming aboard, mate. No worries, mate. And um, we'll be seeing a bit about your band a bit later on today, eh? Show the people what you can do. No thanks, buddy. Alright, see you later, mate. Great. And now guys and girls, don't forget, of course, uh, we've still got uh, the uh, film competition as well, for the short films. That's also included. and the, the address will be up on the screen later on for you to enter that. There'll be posters going out to all the schools and unis as well. So don't forget, anybody can enter as long as you're not professional. So no professionals allowed, and it's for all amateurs to enter that. And we've got lots of prizes on that, so it's quite good. Okay, guys, catch you later. Woo! Hey, guys and girls, check out these great prizes. Kindly sponsored by Pacific Trophies. These could be yours and more if you enter our War of the Bands and of course our short film competition coming up right after this. 
All you have to do is go to www.petersurferu.com, check it out, and good luck to all those winners out there. See you soon. the streets, strap, they are beyond complete, a cure street from thy machine, from no shame, they did what they need, when you are in, you won't need to leave, they begins of thy machine, The streets, the ground, they are beyond complete. A cure street from thy machine, from no shame, they take what they need. When you are in, you won't need to leave. They begin of thy machine. Thy time is here. There is no fear. The scenes don't consider themselves machines.
welcome to Legally Yours. Bruce is a solicitor on the Gold Coast who practices principally in work cover law and personal injury law. Here is Bruce's power assistant, Zoe, to read your question. Dear Bruce, I recently received a speeding ticket for travelling 75 kilometres an hour in a 60 kilometre zone. I had been travelling from Sanford to Brisbane and did not see that the road had changed from 80 kilometres to 60 kilometres per hour. I believe that the speed signs were inadequate and the police were merely revenue raising. I want to know if I can fight the ticket as I feel it is unfair. That's from David at Chermside. Thanks Zoe. If you say that you did not see the change in speed sign or that you are unaware of what the speed limit was, then you could be charged with driving without due care and attention. Speeding causes accidents and you can hurt those people in your car as well as the public. Speed zones usually drop when driving conditions change, such as coming into a built up area, near schools and quite often when the government feels that the road is unsafe for driving at a higher speed. When these conditions change, you should automatically slow and review your position. Generally, the police are aware of this and enforce the speed limits in those areas. If you don't slow down, you may cause an accident. The police allow a variation of the speed recorded to allow a 2-10% to 10 inaccuracy. This means that you could have been travelling at 85 km per hour and have been given the benefit of the doubt. Unfortunately, if you go to court, it's your word against the police officer. Magistrates were once called police magistrates and have a tendency to prefer the evidence of police. Magistrates do, however, overturn speeding tickets. However, you need to produce a lot of evidence and be believable. The best advice is to accept the ticket and be more careful next You bored with life? Want to do something extremely radical? Yeah. That's what we've got here. Close to the centre. Touch gloves. Let's have a good clean fight. Box. Ah. You reckon that was radical? We'll check this out. How are you? Thought I'd come down here for a nice day of relaxation, do a bit of fishing. Fish aren't biting. I get working up like this. Wow, check him out. Speed boats, man. Going pretty fast out there. Hey, I reckon we should go over and check out what's really happening over there. There's all the festivities going on over there. Nothing much happened here with my fishing rod. I've been here for the last couple of hours. I'd rather go see what's going on with those things than with the old fishing. What do you reckon? Should we go and check it out? Yeah, let's do it, man. All right. First off, my name's Pete the Surf Peru. How are you? Uh, Craig Trussell. Craig. Kurt is the managing Kurt. director of the series. Oh, so you're That's organising the, the whole event? Superboat series, around six years of Gold Coast. Cool. Yep. And you have the event here every year? That's right, it's the third year we've, um, we've ran the event here and uh, yeah, it's part of a national series and yeah, it should be good. Cool. And uh, mate, you're the big driver, Craig. Yeah, I'm the local contender, so I just keep everybody honest, try to yeah. get out there and uh, put on a good show. These things uh, do about uh, 250 k's. Wow. Yeah, that's so that's fast, probably a few eh? past there. Yeah, about four and a half G's on a corner. Woo. Zero right to uh, 165 k's, what, just under five seconds? Yeah, under five seconds yeah. out there. 
No problems with burnouts, like fire or anything with, no, the, with the motor? we don't have fires and stuff. I mean, we go through a pretty uh, safety stringent testing before we take the boat in the water. It's all tested out. Um, we all wear fire suits and all that sort okay, of stuff, as yeah. and gloves and yep. balaclavas. So we looked up, we've got to look after the drivers. Yeah, you've got to look after them, mate. Otherwise, there's no, no competition, eh? Right. Mate, I was just going to ask you something. What do you reckon my chances are of... Um, Driving, driving this uh, power boat, mate. Oh, you would get you a few lessons to get you out of there, mate. How big's your checkbook? <laughs> How deep your pocket? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty deep, mate. <laughs> yeah, hundred dollar bills there. Yeah. Oh, we can yeah. come up with something, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah. What do you reckon, viewers? To sign for you before yeah. you go on the boat. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. What do you reckon, viewers? I might go out and have a bit of a spin out there. Thank you.